This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello and welcome to Focus on Health. I'm Ted Stefaniak. Today we're at the Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh. And you know, when we do these segments, sometimes we really get a great look at some of the cutting edge technology that they have available at Aurora. And today we get to do that. We're gonna be talking with Dr. Jeff Goldman about digestive health and how a tiny little camera can help diagnose some of your GI problems. Well, thank you for joining us once again today. It's great to see you. And today we're, we're really talking about some, some outstanding technology that's making life a lot more comfortable for the patients that you see. And we're really talking about a, a pill camera. That's correct. And this is the, the actual pill itself. And as well, you may be able to see, half of the uh, pill is is the actual camera that takes two flash pictures per second. And the other half is a battery pack that lasts eight hours. And this is designed to be swallowed by the patient. And then they, they actually come in on an empty stomach and they uh, have not eaten for a period of 10 or 12 hours beforehand. They swallow with a little bit of water and then they're wearing a, it's almost like a Velcro vest. It's got sensors over the abdomen. And then they have a, a special receiving device. It looks almost like a, like a pager that they wear very close to their body. And they wear that for the next eight hours following swallowing the capsule. And then the capsule basically goes through the, through the stomach, so it passes through your food passage, your esophagus, your stomach, and then through the 20 feet of small intestine that isn't ordinarily, uh, you can't reach it generally with an upper endoscope, an upper scope, or a colonoscope, so you're able to see the, the small intestine. So we look for things that may cause obscure uh, intestinal bleeding. So if a patient is anemic, they have a low blood count, which is typically caused by something in an adult's Usually a low blood count is caused by chronic blood loss, and that can be caused by anything from ulcers in the, in the stomach to the small intestine, uh, sometimes tangles of blood vessels, uh, tumors, polyps, things of that nature. Uh, celiac disease, which is a sensitivity to gluten in the diet, and that can be picked up with this technology. And then there's a, an inflammatory disease called Crohn's disease, that can also be picked up, and sometimes it involves uh, different segments of the small intestine. Yeah, and before that camera, that tiny little camera that could go inside of you, uh, I would imagine life was a little more difficult for patients. Well, it was, and and we really could not reach the you know the small intestine. We would have scopes, perhaps that could go down a few feet into the small bowel, but could not uh, reach the entire you know twenty foot segment at the end. So, we we basically now can visualize. Uh, most of the small intestine, you know, with this technology, and then that also tells us, you know, where the cause of bleeding is that would ordinarily not be picked up by an X-ray or a CAT scan or some other technology. I would imagine technology like this is making it uh, easier for you uh, as a doctor to to diagnose and and even find out if things have been corrected properly. That's uh, that's correct, and and so we can. Uh, then if we find the, the cause of bleeding, then the patient uh, can have another procedure to actually go down with a, a scope that's, that's larger uh, into the intestine. The bleeding sites can be cauterized or they can be marked so that they can be removed surgically. And, uh, and we can also, if it's Crohn's disease or celiac disease, then we can treat that with a diet or with medication. Yeah. And I know you have some, uh, some photos here from, from the actual uh, pill camera. Can you kind of just show us a little bit about uh, how this is, you know, really change medicine? Sure. So what happens is the, the patient uh, has the device and the, and the monitoring device on for a period of eight hours and they come back, they drop it off, we download the information uh, onto a, a workstation here. So this is actually a, an area of active bleeding. There's a blood clot here that we're actually picking up on, the, on this study and this patient had uh, multiple bleeding sites. And, and then we continued to move down, and you can actually move back, and you can actually see some blood here in the lumen. So, and then this patient actually had a, a follow-up scope procedure that was, where it went down several feet into the small intestine, and we were able to find the bleeding site and cauterize it and stop the bleeding. But this is a patient that had required numerous units of uh, red blood cell transfusion, and we were able to, uh, you know, to stop their requirement for that. 
once it picks it up on the camera, do you have an idea of the location? Yes, and then you, you have a, and there's actually um, a, there's like a little, almost like a little GPS device here that follows it and you can actually see it. And then based on the time too, so that based on the time, so we know that this is in the, in the um, middle part of the small intestine very early in the upper part. So this is called the jejunum, the upper, upper small intestine based on the time. Whereas if it was, if it was like at five hours, um, then you'd probably be in the lower part of the small intestine. So you'd have a, have a good idea about uh, whether, it's, whether you can approach it from above or from below. And again, how long is the, is the capsule inside of you, or, or how long uh, you Well, it's, the, the small bowel exam is, lasts for up to eight hours, and, the, uh, and then the, the capsule itself will pass out in the stool. So once it gets into the colon, then it, it may be another day or so until it comes out, but it, it passes uneventfully, uh, and it's, it's painless when it comes out uh, in the stool. And that may come out in the next day or so. Most people don't even see it. Occasionally, we have some stories that people tell us it, it passes and it's still flashing, things like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> but this again, it, it's technology that that is making things easier for for the doctors and also uh, making you know things easier for patients as well. Oh, it is, and it, and it's um, the only problem sometimes, and the only reason perhaps not to do this is if you have a patient who can't swallow the capsule. Uh, so it's, it's like swallowing a, a large you know, vitamin capsule, but as long as you can do that. But there are some patients, particularly older patients, that may have some difficulty swallowing uh, capsules, but you know, usually most people can, can do that. So if they have a risk of uh, aspiration or difficulty swallowing, then what we sometimes do if they need the, when they need the procedure, then we can actually, we have an introducer that we can actually put on an upper scope and, it, um, and then you actually pass the, the introducer with the scope down through the stomach into the intestine, then you release, it's almost like releasing a satellite. Oh, wow. And then you just, it just releases it directly into the small bowel. But most of the time you don't have to do that. Okay, and if a person is having some, some uh, intestine problems, what would be some of the symptoms that people should be worried about to seek uh, medical attention? Well, it, you'd, um, you'd be concerned if they had uh, bleeding, as if they passed black stool, obviously if they, uh, if they had vomited blood, uh, or if they're simply anemic, or if they just have a low blood count, they just may, may be pallid, their skin may be uh, whiter, you know, it's kind of a white as a sheet type of thing that we talk about, and they um, may have a low blood count, uh, and you may have uh, abdominal pain, cramps, or diarrhea, things like that. And you should immediately seek out your uh, primary care physician at That's that correct. point, I would imagine? Yes. Okay, and then they can get a hold of you if, uh, if they certainly need you. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you for taking some time today. My pleasure. Thank you. Good to see you. It is certainly some amazing technology. Now, if you're experiencing any of the problems that Dr. Goldman talked about, you should seek out your primary care provider. And if you have any questions about that little pill cam or you're having any other GI problems, you can give us a call here at Aurora at 920-303-8700. I'm Ted Stefaniak, and we'll see you next time on Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.